What's going on guys? I'm back today with another video and today we're going to go over some KT tape and its applications for bodybuilding. Now for years I've dealt with elbow pain, I've had tendonitis, uh, tricep tendonitis and elbow tendonitis. Both it can be excruciating pains. I've had them in each arm which has been troublesome for my lifts because you know I can't do any pressing, any shoulder pressing, any bench press uh, because they get so flared up sometimes. Now I know a lot of people suffer from this I see especially at gyms, you know, when people are grabbing their arms, or they're doing these stretches because they feel that kind of pain. Uh, again, like I said, I've been there for years. You know, I have buckets of elbow wraps, and straps, icing compression sleeves, you know, to help me out with these issues. And none of them have helped me up as much as KT tape. Now, some of you are familiar with KT tape. Uh, you see it um, when you go to the chiropractor, or you see it in some of these like Iron Man competitions where people are all uh, taped up uh, and people are like, what is this tape on people? Now it's kinesiology tape and the whole point of it is to mimic the ligaments in our body. Now how it works is that it actually helps take some stress off of those ligaments. So when you're dealing with something like um, tendonitis, this is great because it actually follows the lines of the tendons. Uh, follows the lines of the ligaments and can take stress off of these components. Now, because KT tape can do some of these things, that's what's really helped me, you know, overcome these injuries. Uh, the issue I've had, being a little bit larger and having big, uh, having bigger arms, and repeatedly doing stressful movements, you know, like bench press, shoulder press, uh, bicep curls, or tricep extensions, which repeatedly aggravates, you know, these injuries is that with the KT tape, I can constantly wear it. The problem is that what I run into is when I have these sleeves or these compression straps, is that usually what ends up happening is I can only wear it for such a, uh, you know, a, such a short period of time before I either experience numbness and tingling, you know, either in my hands or in my forearm, um, or this, the cuff is just so tight. Now, people are gonna say, get a bigger size. Uh, that kind of defeats the purpose of the compression. I've had all different shapes and sizes, you know, I, I, I've tried them all, um, you know, tight ones, strong ones, you know, ratchet style. Um, they all kind of, you know, have the same, um, you know, issue. Now, a lot of you are gonna experience this because you're working from home. Constantly having your elbows hang from the desk puts a lot of downward uh, force. Uh, your elbows having to fight against gravity Okay, uh, the tendons are no longer moving in the direction they're supposed to be. Gravity's fighting against it. Now, the issue with that is that over time, those tendons start to get agitated and aggravated because they are just in a hanging position. Um, you, you know, if you're working from home on a desk or even if you're gaming at home, this can be one of those issues, even if you're not experiencing it from lifting. Now, you add the two, the problems exacerbate. So, what you can do is you can use KT tape again, even when you're at work. Right? Or in my case, when I experienced the most amount of pain or discomfort is when I was sleeping. When I was laying down, right, my arms are just hanging by, the, by their sides. And again, gravity is working against them. And a person my size, my weight, just puts constant stress on it. Now, if I were to wear a sleeve, right, I run into the same problem. I'm gonna lose uh, blood flow and my arms are gonna go numb. Now, that's not safe. I'm restricting blood flow, uh, restricting the blood going back to my heart and back to my hands, and I can't be having that going on uh, because you can deal with other issues later on down the line. Now, KT tape came in handy because what I could do is I could add the KT tape, right? And it would take the stress off of these tendons and these ligaments and allow my body to actually heal and rest at night instead of being agitated, you know, aggravated. Because when I would wake up in the morning without it, or with the sleeve, the compression on that tendon, the, um, you know, them hanging by my sides, they would literally ache so hard that I could barely extend my elbow. Now, KT tape, um, you know, you don't have any of those issues because it's on the outside, you, uh, usually on the surface of your skin, allows full extension, full bending, so if you're sleeping on your side, right, or you cross, you can do all these things without having to be locked out, um, and it does not cut off the circulation. 
Now, I'm gonna apply some KT tape to give you an example of what to do. There's different styles out there. I always recommend checking some of them out. Uh, you can check out uh, KT tape, rock tape. Uh, there are some other brands that are you know uh, out there. You can find them on Amazon. Um, very flexible. Some are gonna be more expensive than others because of the adhesive they have on it, and that means that they can last longer or have a stronger hold. So what I got with me today is a box of KT tape. Now this is the Pro, this is an example of the more expensive version uh, because it has you know, a better adhesive and it's supposed to last longer. Uh, I believe they're the same width as the original, but you can actually get some wider strips so you can actually do your lower back, your hamstrings, uh, pretty much any body or part on your body, you can use KT tape. Now, I already have an open package, and I'm gonna demonstrate for you how you use this stuff, okay? It's about a nine inch strip, about two inches wide, okay? All you do is you take one of these strips, and what you do is you, on the back there's a paper, and what you do is you, you pop it. So you literally put two fingers, and you pinch, and it'll pop the back end, okay? Now, Generally, what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to start midway at the back of the tricep tendon. Now, I've experienced um, elbow tendonitis and tricep tendonitis, and what I've experienced is when I actually come across the whole backside of the tricep, I actually get the most support, right, and the most relief of pressure. So, how do you do this? It's a little easier when you have somebody else do this to you, but you can still give it a shot. So that you, what you do is you're gonna leave a one inch strip at the end where we, where we broke it, and this is called the anchor. Now the anchor requires no stretch, and the whole point of that is so that it does not put stress on your skin because this stuff can, can irritate your skin. So all you do is you apply, you can get the little piece of paper that you broke off with, and you rub on it. Okay, super simple. Now it's on you. Now what you do is you get the back piece of the paper. And again, this is the process that I've refined for doing it on myself. Um, again, if you have somebody else that can do it for you, it makes it a lot easier. But this is the way I gotta do it because now I don't have, always have somebody around. So what you do is you're gonna bend your elbow 90 degrees and you're gonna rotate your, your, your wrist down. You're going to come around the elbow, okay, keeping a slight bend. And what you do is you apply a stretch, okay? Now, there's varying degrees of stretch. It's usually anywhere from 50 to 80, 80%. Uh, I try to keep it around 75 to 80%. I usually need a lot of support, so that's why I kind of keep it tight. So as you see, I pull it to 100%, I back off, and then I come down the outside of my forearm, going all the way down, okay? Setting it right there. Now, it's basically all the way down my forearm to the back of the extensors. I left a one inch strip for my anchor, again, because that's the part that's gonna be doing a lot of friction on you, and you don't want it so tight that it basically pulls your skin and your hair back. So what you do is just simply pull the paper away, it has no stretch, and you rub it in. Now, this isn't my prettiest example, but it gets the job done. Now, it's just sitting there. Again, it feels like it's pulling my arm up, right, and giving it that support because just the weight of it sometimes can be irritated because again, I'm constantly working on my computer, you know, doing diets and training plans that the weight of it, it gets irritated or when I'm laying down on the bed. So this is great because it already feels like it's giving it relief. Now again, you can do this constantly. I always advise changing it out a couple of days um, so, you know, don't run it too long, especially the more active you are. The more you sweat, the more you shower, uh, it can only last for a couple of days before it starts to kind of tug on your skin. Uh, if you, you know, it, it's expensive, but if you can keep changing out the pieces, uh, you know, after a couple of days, it'll be better for your skin and it'll just keep that uh, tension off of the uh, tendons. Now, um, you know, there's a couple different ways to do this. This is the simplest and easiest way i found uh, and that works. Now, I, I work out with this. Um, does it always last through a workout? No, um, but it helps me get through the workout. Sometimes I feel awesome through my workout, right? Um, 
and then it starts to come off, and by the end of the workout, it starts to fatigue a little bit. Guess what? Just add another strip, um, and you'll be feeling just like you were before, and again, your body will allow itself to heal, allow itself to recover, and if you, you know, ice and rest enough, you know, your body will be able to come back to 100%. Now, again, I've dealt with uh, elbow tendonitis and tricep tendonitis, you know, for over a year and a half, uh, chronically, uh, before it would come in spurts, but this honestly is the only thing that helped me in that past year and a half to get out of that cycle because uh, it was pretty vicious. You know, I was missing workouts. I had no motivation. Uh, I had no strength, you know, where I could pe press, you know, anything I wanted to now being able to barely press 30 pounds just because the pain was so excruciating. And getting through the workout is the most important thing to me. So again, give this a shot. Uh, for people who are dealing with, uh, you know, shoulder tendonitis um, or bursitis or shoulder pain, elbow tendonitis, uh, tricep tendonitis, uh, or knee issues, these are a great, great way, again, to keep the blood flow going through the mu uh, muscles and letting those tendons and ligaments, you know, get that rest or that break that it needs to heal properly. Uh, this has helped me out tremendous, and I, I don't doubt that it will be able to help you out. If you liked this and you found it helpful and you want to see more videos like this, you know, comment, like, or subscribe so that way I can put some more content out for you guys. You know, let me know what works best for you, what didn't work. Um, did you add more to it? Did you add less to it? Or do you actually find, you know, some product out there that works better than this? You know, if it does, comment, let me know what you, what you think. Till next time, this is Arnold at LR3 Fitness. Lift, run, recover, repeat.